Not many people can pinpoint the exact moment in their life when everything went downhill. Oh. Oh, dang. I can, though. What? Oh. Uh-oh. I mean, for me, it was the day my mom emailed our producer the audio clip of 13-year-old <laughs> me singing at my bar mitzvah. Oh, oh play it, Jeff. Reach for the sky. This is it. Yes. And, try and my life has been on a steep downward <laughs> spiral ever since this angelic voice came to light. Can you be quiet so I can hear the song? <laughs> oh, the suffering it has caused. Oh. One of our listeners understands because years ago, he had a short 30-second interaction with a stranger at a New York train station, oh. and he wishes he could go back and do it over again because oh. his life has been fully cursed ever since. Are we going to tell him to reach, reach for the sky? <laughs> yeah. It's not going to help because you will not believe some of the bizarre stuff that's been happening to him since. Whoa. You'll find out coming up in a brand new mass speaker at 710. <laughs> You don't know me. A confession I can't take back. I am... The Masked Speaker. Texas78592 says, I love to eat frozen peas cold straight mm. out of the bag. <laughs> They're like little dipping dots of uh-huh. pea flavored ice cream. Oh, Delicious. Oh, you guys, my kids love them too. What? Really? Yeah, they're like, you don't need to cook them, mom. We just want to eat them. Oh, they're like, okay. They're to you. Maybe we should try it. No. Yeah, actually, pea flavored ice cream is a phrase that just sounds wrong and should never be uttered out loud. It's green, okay? Yeah. It's not yellow, I swear. But nothing <laughs> sounds right on this segment, the mass speaker. Not even your voice, because oh, we change it to hide your identity so you could say. Safely tell us your pea flavored secrets. <laughs> and today we have a guy on the phone who wants to share. He's chosen to go by the name Eric today. So, Eric, welcome to the show. Hi there. Hey, Eric. Hey. <laughs> hey. Hey. You got a mouthful of frozen peas right now? No, nothing like that. So, no. it might be better than what I've been dealing with. Uh-oh. Okay. Uh-oh. What's going on? The voice changer is on. You are the mass speaker. So, whenever you're ready, let's hear your confession. Well, this. It's going to sound crazy, I know, but you just have to roll with me on this. Oh, man, we are so down for crazy in Mm -hmm. this show. (laughs) So about seven or eight years ago, Uh I was visiting New York. And this interaction I had with this person has just haunted me ever since. Hey, what oh, no. is it? What, who did you run into? Hold on, give him a chance. Well, it's like He's so clearly, many things. He... This is going to be crazy. It's haunted me. What happened? <laughs> <laughs> You're like the worst mental health therapist ever. Bro. Yeah, seriously. Like, shut yeah. up and get to what's wrong yeah. with you. I would never be a therapist. <laughs> no, Jeff. you wouldn't. Yeah. Yeah. It's like, get to the bottom of it on I your own. obviously only work with unstable people. Yeah. That's how I like my people. <laughs> I was definitely cursed by a wizard. Does that what? intrigue you enough for me to continue? Yes. Yeah. Uh, no. Nope, okay. That's it. We're yeah. done. That's all Brooke needed. <laughs> no. Thank you. Bye. Wait. Wait. Tell <laughs> yes. us what happened. Yeah, what the heck? You're in New York, and and what goes on? I was in New York. I was sitting in Grand Central Station. Uh huh. When an older woman randomly approached me and needed eighteen dollars to buy a train ticket home. Uh-huh. Okay. Eighteen dollars is a lot of money to ask from a stranger. Yeah, but she needed the money for the ticket home, so that's probably how much the ticket yeah. cost. A long bus, like a long yeah, yeah. Train. And I mean, you I'd could be like, hey, say... maybe I'll give you one dollar towards wow. it. Like, <laughs> you, you want the whole eighteen okay. bucks? Okay, I would Jeff. give him a twenty and say, "Keep the change." It's yeah. different people. I yeah, guess. it does make it feel more believable that she knew the ticket. Oh, yeah, yeah. Like, yeah, it was. Yeah, she like... needed some help. What did you say, Eric? Well, I did have the twenty on me, and. It was just too much for me to give to a stranger, so I said no, but she just kept begging me, like, please, please, it's only $18. Did you ask her if you could break a 20? Like, can you break a 20? Because I'll give you five. And don't give me any coins, okay? (laughs) No, I didn't ask for change. Yeah. (laughs) This is where things get weird, and I've told people before, and they just don't believe me. So I'm I'm hoping somebody out there will. Okay. Mm Mm-hmm. I told her no the second time, and she just, it's like something snapped in her eyes. What? Her Mm -hmm. entire demeanor changed, and I swear up and down, I saw her eyes turn black. What? 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 Oh, heck. Wow, there's a lot of good drugs out there. Yeah, what state were you in at the station? (laughs) This is what I mean when I said I was cursed by a wizard. I don't understand it, but she just turned away, walked away, and just gone. So okay. why do you think, I mean, has bad things happened in your life ever since then? Oh, yeah. Oh. Oh, God. Like what? It all has to do with this 
weird jazz music that played as soon as she left. I've, I've never heard it before. Oh. It's kind of like a weird Jeopardy theme, but it's not quite. I've never been able to find it. Dude, I love a woman that comes with a theme song. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> what is happening to you? So I, I got my train to the airport. Okay. okay. And then on my flight home, we had to make an emergency landing because two engines blew out. Whoa. Oh, both? Oh, my God. Well, that's pretty standard for Boeing nowadays, so <laughs> only two is actually good luck. You don't think it was just a coincidence? Not since once I got back into the airport, the same jazz music was playing. Ooh. Oh. In the airport. Oh, the same. Ooh. That was at the station. Oh, Are that's you, weird. The, what if, what oh. if, okay, just to be, you know, I... I could see that this could be true, but what if they're just on the same Muzak station? You know what I mean? Like, uh, like it's like current jazz and it's the most popular song at yeah. the time. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, that is a strange, it could be a weird coincidence. He's like, and guess what was playing Taylor Swift? Yeah. <laughs> like, well, it plays everywhere, dude. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know if they play creepy jazz everywhere, but you know, whatever. Is that the one thing that, I mean, that's it, right? That's all she made happen? There's more. Oh. What else? I went to the dentist. And that jazz music was playing in the waiting room. The same music? The same music. That is creepy. And I've never had any kind of cavities before. And somehow I had a cavity so deep that they had to do a root canal. Ooh. Oh, man. And at the end, they invoiced you $18 for it. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God, that should I be would... a great deal on a root canal. Oh, yeah, actually. <laughs> she did you a solid there. <laughs> Take that. Dude, that sucks, though. And since then, I've had my identity stolen Ooh. twice oh. in the last five years. Oh, oh God. And I swear to all that is holy. There is this one pigeon that follows me. <laughs> a pigeon? <laughs> it is the same pigeon, and it's always on my car when I go wow. out to work. Wow. And it's uh, always humming the jazz, too. Oh, I was going to say, it's playing on a little tiny saxophone. <laughs> <laughs> so Do you think it's her, like, as a bird? Is that what you're saying? It's some kind of bad omen. Well, for Brooke, it's lunch on a good day oh. if she hits it the right way. <laughs> Hey, you're in France. That stuff's a delicacy. Yeah. yeah. It is. Wow. Dude, okay. Well, clearly a lot of bad stuff has happened since you refused to give the $18 to that stranger yeah, in New York. How do, you like test. how do you reverse the curse? That's the whole plot of every movie ever. Yeah. I have no idea. If I knew I wouldn't be on the call. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Go give out a bunch of money to homeless people today. He's the only person at a train station seeking out people. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Oh, dude. Well, thanks for the confession. Coming up next is some eerie jazz song we're going to play for the very first time. Please, no. Text in 78592 if you have a confession you've been holding on to. We can hide your identity, mask your voice, and make you our next mask speaker. Your phone tap's coming up right after this.